Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I am Frost Mellon, and today we're team on with our Hunter Arena run. So, yeah, I actually had a few days off, uh, just for uh, me, just kind of taking back. Wasn't feeling the greatest, and just basically held on with work, so wasn't able to get as much done as I would have wanted to, to kind of just chill out. So, I think it's been a bit more full throttle coming up to the Christmas, as it were, at the moment. But, yeah. I mean, I am back to play some more games while I get the opportunity to in my free time. It's always quite nice to do that as well. So uh, let's jump back in. Rexa versus Ooh. the Lich King. Lich King and Arena. Let's see how this goes. All will serve me in death. Yeah, uh, one drop. Let the hunt begin. Yeah, it's kind of worth keeping. I might. Yeah, I'll keep that as well here. Like this is a one drop, two drop could be this, into three drop, then this and the four drop beast maybe. We'll see how it goes anyway. But yeah, um, before this I was playing a bit of the uh, arena and, oh sorry, a bit of ladder and I am so frustrated with how good um, Death Knight is, at least Frost Death Knight. Which sounds really bad to say it in this way. I thought Frost Death Knight was going to be like a more controlly type Death Knight, with the blood being the more aggro style, and then like the mid rangey kind of one being dead. Apparently, no. Frost is now aggro. Who would have thought? I have things you never knew you wanted. Uh, deal two damage, mana throw six, draw that many cards. Discover a spell from your deck. It was arcane, give it plus one spell damage. Toxic aggro, give a minion poison if it survives. This isn't bad, drawing cards could be good, especially when I get to turn six, but that's quite late. Uh, discovering a spell could be useful, but I don't want to ask it. The conjured arrow here. Drawing two cards on turn six could be quite good. This is my turn 3 play, although I don't really want to play it on turn 3, but it will be. But yeah, that's, uh, there's, I think there's this one spell in particular that kind of gets under my skin with the whole Death Knight class. And it's the 4 damage for 3 mana Let and reduce the next spell by a me. cost by 2. Dead now. Oh, okay. Wasn't too sure the acolyte of pain if it wasn't dead or not. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Yeah, that's good enough here. It deals with one, deals with the other. Hitting this would kind of make sense because it stops the trade here Those happening. It forces to have hero power. We get two draws, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind the card itself doing four damage. It's just the fact that, like, it deals four damage. It then reduces the cost of the next spell, and it can go face. And then they have other spells that can also go face as well, which is just not very nice to be playing against. That's the one I want to send back to my deck. Happy we got it. Those were priceless. We can slowly whittle them down. We've got this for card draw now, which is kind of nice. Which I assume means draw two cards for two mana after deal two damage. Is it to a minion? So like this to a minion. They stop it because of the fact that card draw in late game and face damage can be a problem. So they put the restriction on this, but they didn't do it on that one frost card. I don't know why. Just play out the rush minions here. 
her power. Get the damage in while I can now. One of these might survive. If they don't, that's not my fault. I've got this for a taunt if they play one. Leave bones, please. Uh, one damage, three random enemies. Nope. Uh, deadly shot isn't bad. Probably the dog biscuit here is slightly better. Yeah, that's good. Let's play here. Um, this having poisonous might be useful next turn, so I might end up playing this out, and then if I save it for turn nine, I can play it with this. Which can be quite nice, so that's what we'll hopefully hold out for. But yeah, so it's been kind of annoying playing the ladder whenever I get the opportunity to. Which literally was just fairly recent, so. Yeah. All dandy. Um, <laughs> putting both of these into that seems a good idea. And I still get to use that, and I still keep this removal. So they have another big minion. Oh, that's not great. I can't let them get that off. Um, I can't deal with a big minion. We will rebuild from the ground up. Uh, you gotta love it. And yeah, playing this now is good enough because they're just gonna be able to get the uh, other one out anyway. Yeah, this game's a loss. It's a battle cry, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he gets to do that again. And what, freeze this minion? Yeah. So this is the stuff that I was kind of meant by, like, I think now, like, I don't know, just some of the cards are way over to if you get to the arena. Oh, this one in particular. It is a legendary, so I don't know if it's worth complaining about or anything else. But yeah, trying to get balance in arena is an absolute nightmare. So my opponent's got a mid-range deck. Yeah, I pretty much saw that out of this game quite early on. Putrefy. Uh, 
just see how that goes. Maybe I can get something off this. Maybe not. I had a feeling that some of the uh, Death Knight cards are going to be like well over tuned for Arena to the point where they're completely unbalanced and exa exactly what happened there. So that is our first loss on the board. Anyway, if you do enjoy the video, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.